guys, this is Calico Tofu, and today we're playing a game called Sandman. Um, this game is made by the same developer that made The Crooked Man and uh, Boogeyman and The Hanged Man. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is a horror game. It contains scarce and grotesque content, so refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing resources except author's illustrations. No redistribution of the game files except for translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Check author's site for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. Okay. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. Ooh. <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm? You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. The oh-so-terrifying story of the Sandman. Morning already? Oh! <laughs> Apparently! The can contains a few pieces of trash. I need to stop eating candy. That sounds random, but today I ate a ton of candy and I want to stop eating candy, but I can't because I'm addicted to sugar. Uh, tea magazines. Wow, I look pretty. Uh, the closet full of clothes. Bags are kept in there, too. Oh, that was a uniform. For some reason, I thought that was a really weird mask. I... <laughs> uh, okay. Eat it! Oh, wait, what did it say? Oh, that was like there yesterday or something? I don't know. Uh, a note? Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left money to take care of yourself for now. Lock doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. <laughs> I... I've never been to a Christian school. Actually, I have been to a Christian school. Yeah, I, I, mostly dad's clothes. Okay. I don't know what I'm trying to get at. I'm sorry. I'm being really hyper right now, mainly because I saw a turtle on a bike ride when I was on a... <laughs> yes, I saw a turtle on a bike. <laughs> mm-hmm. No. I was just doing my daily exercise. Don't worry, I have a mask. Um, I, and I saw a giant snapping turtle on the side of the road, and if, n since I never told any of you guys, I used to have, uh, a pet turtle when I was younger, and he died, but I didn't want to see this turtle get run over by a car. However, this is an adult snapping turtle, and if you don't know, snapping turtles snap and are more aggressive than other turtles. They're more likely to lash out and bite, and their bites can, you can, they're meant to bite fish's heads off. Amphibians, too. If I got bit by that snapping turtle, it would probably, you know, like, be able to take off my entire finger. It's just, it was, circumstances are too dangerous to really, you know, I, I, I don't want to pick him up, but I was, talking with some random stranger that also saw the turtle 
about seeing if we could try and relocate it. I don't want to risk getting hurt, and I don't want to accidentally hurt the turtle. And it feels like I'd be harassing the turtle if I try to move it to another area. So what we managed to do is just kind of place him in the grass. But obviously he's going to just go right across the road, so... I'm just anxious. I don't want the turtle to get hit by a car. I love turtles. Uh, back to the game. <laughs> Let's go. That was seven minutes of doing absolutely nothing. Ugh. Hey, Sophie, you got a painter at your house? Because, man, that hair, how do you get that red without a paint spill being involved? Now hold on, Reagan. Maybe she lives in a, near a hot dog vendor and mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that gotta be it. <laughs> yeah, and your hair's blonde like mustard. Your hair looks like ash, and the other girl's hair looks like she put bubblegum in her hair. So, uh, back off. Miss Grundler? Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Ah! <clears throat> what are you doing, Klutz? Hurry up. You're so slow, seriously. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I have a bit of a rage anger and aggression issues uh and sophie um about reagan try not to let it get to you well why didn't you step in they're not worth responding to anyway it's fine i wonder why reagan teases you so much must be hard just being her i'm the only outlet for her stress um well i'm on your side okay sophie Beat them up for me. How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I, I don't ha really have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. That was very awkward. Welcome, Miss Grundler. Please take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. I already changed her voice. Miss Grunler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I am truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grunler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out, I forgot. It's no good, I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about 10 days? Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my, have you gone to the hospital? No, my dad's busy, so I don't want him to worry, and it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Praying to the Lord before you sleep? The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Why is light given to those in misery and life to the bitter soul? To those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave, why is life given to a man whose always is hidden, whom God has hedged in? 
For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, only turmoil. Job was an honest, adoring justice. But, as we all know, that does not ensure that disasters will not befall us, yes? Through calamity he saw the truth, the truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Now let's pray. Is that a fire drill? No? Phone? Hello? I should shower and go to bed. Okay. Wrong room. I look dead inside. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. That would be me. That would be me. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Sometimes for me, I sleep better if I'm not sleeping in my own bed. It's really weird. You're just gonna leave that piece of toast there? Okay. A prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when mom was here? Is your mom dead? Now I lay oh, me God. down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. I didn't expect a voice. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble now, would there? I guess my voice is just naturally lower. <laughs> ah! Something's weird. What happened to the clock? It's, it's a twilight hour. The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? This clock stopped at 12, too. What's this about? Are we just gonna look at all the clocks then? A sink? Do you hear that? Did you hear that? Hell no! <laughs> Go back to bed! <laughs> I'm not dealing with a guy with no eyes on the ground. Oh, God. Can I just... Oh, God. Check your closet. Hide in your closet. Take a kitchen knife. Do something. If I woke up and everything was just frozen on midnight, I... I, I don't know what I'd do, but this guy's... It, it's the old guy from next door. What happened here? He's sleeping. Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe... Did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call the ambulance. Oh, okay. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, I need to tell his wife. Excuse me, miss. It's not locked. It's wide open. Miss? She's, she's asleep too. What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's pr usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Just, yeah. Shouldn't be in there. If it were my house, this would be my room, but I shouldn't go. You shouldn't. But you should. Old lady, what happened?
Old man, are you okay? I think he's sleeping, but... Oh, God! That was so loud. Another person on the ground? Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Why do I keep on missing text? My future me, please put the text up on screen and do a voiceover because I keep on pressing the button too quickly. Is anyone else awake? Thank you. That cafe looks like it's just written in blood. Okay. Uh, tunnel... Map of town? Quite a map. It's kind of eerie. P play el- <laughs> Just say Alexa, play elevator music. Um... Maybe we should. Safety guard. Whoa! Hey, guy with eye patch. Are you not gonna say anything else about that? What? This just gets weirder and weirder. All these people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? Oh. Sophie? You're from the Crooked Man! Ah, so it is you! David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime. Then when I left to go home, things looked weird. It's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. I got worried, so I took a look around, and then I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? Nah, I'm fine. But I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would anyone hit the hay? I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside. I'll go to see. You want to come with me? Sh sure Oh, hold on. Huh? What? My friend, my friend Anne, she lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared, she since she's pretty timid. I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. I'll go with you. You can't, David. It's an all-girls school. Oh, right. Catholic school. Yeah. No boys allowed, huh? Except no, because seriously, that doesn't matter right now. It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. Ooh, wait. Uh, what? <sighs> so I know David's from the Crooked Man. Did she, Sophie, also come from the Crooked Man? I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I'd get lost. Just let him go with you. Whoops. Alright, alright, if you insist. Fine on your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, got it. Sophie! Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you, I'd, you know be held responsible and, you know, go to jail. Anyways. <laughs> it's the crooked man! Hold on for a second. I don't know if you can see my screen, but if you can... I, I, I don't need to... Okay. Uh, the Sandman is a supernatural horror game by Yuri. This is the second installment in the Strange Man series. Okay, sweet. So we are playing this in order. So we are playing the Sandman, then the Boogeyman, then the Hangman. I should take note of this. I'm not going to play the Crooked Man because I already watched like two people play it. Yeah, anyways, back to the, back to the game. Okay. Okay, if, every, if everyone was asleep for some reason, if everyone was absolutely asleep in town, and you could do anything you want, and all security cameras and everything, all time, everything, absolutely everything, was frozen, so you couldn't be, you know, caught. And also, like, let's just say that for some reason, 
There's no way they could trace it back to you. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not fair. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh. Oh, jeez. What would you do? Would you go out and steal some stuff? This is a, a question of ethics and morals. What am I doing with my life? I think this is somewhere where David lives. What would, if, well actually for me, if something like this happened and everything was frozen for some reason, I would be absolutely shitting my pants. <laughs> God damn it, what did she say? She said something. And I saw a mist, I must investigate. I'm not stupid, I saw some weird fuzz stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd... Any, like I was saying, I'd probably... Probably drag my family members. Well, at least... Uh, <laughs> I'd kidnap my family members, drive around, grab them, drag them into the car, just put them in the trunk, and... No, okay, that sounds really creepy. But, um, I would probably haul them into, like, the same room. Mainly because I'd be absolutely terrified that something bad might happen. And then I might... What else would I do? I might make something food. Not gonna be open, of course. It's the middle of the night. Would I be able to get over this wall? Maybe I can find a ladder somewhere. Okay, so we finally found the place. Hopefully future me can edit that, because I sure as hell will not find the- find- <laughs> uh, I'm like lost, and I'm being stupid. Ooh! Guns! Seems awfully dangerous to just leave these lying around here. Yeah, but it's awfully useful. Take it. Take it! You're gonna need it anyways. Quick, fall down the well. Water fountain. Okay. Can I get in? Well, now how can you get out? Flower bed? There probably is a key somewhere in the flower bed. Ha ha ha! Is that a knife? Oh, it's a shovel. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't see what that said, but at least I got... Sorry, Miss Sister Mary. Classrooms are all locked, I'm sure. I'll check the dorms for Anne. You said, listen now, and I shall speak. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Job. I remembered when I was a good... Uh... Protestant. I don't care if it's all locked, I just still want to check over stuff. Oh, that's- that's not scary at all. What the heck? <laughs> Put some, at least some, like, you know, descending stairs. That just looks so freaking creepy. What? It, this is her room? That's her roommate on t the top bunk, but why isn't Anne here? She didn't say she was going home. You sh 
to somewhere else in the school, but almost every room is locked. That's it, the chapel. It's never locked, so people can pray anytime. Maybe she could be there. Dear God, I pray for new shoes. Better keep quiet about the glass. Blame it on a burglar, say. Okay. Um. Oh. But like, why aren't you just... Oh. Anne, you're okay. Sophie, why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell over and conked out. So I got worried about you. Come on, Anne. Let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should stick together. No, I don't want to go. Why not? No, I'm scared. They'll chase me again. They? Come on, Anne. It's fine. I didn't see any weird people, but... Look, this friend of mine is a guy you can trust. He'll protect you, even if there are weirdos. So, yeah? Come with me. He's also single, and his mom died. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was the premise of Crooked Man. <gasps> ah! What? Where are you going, little Miss Liar? Uh, no, not again. Oh. Kind of look like seahorses. Running away again, are we? You really are such a liar. Liars must be punished. What? What's wrong with you? Get away from Anne! Why? She's a liar, isn't she? A liar is a bad thing to be, so they must be punished. I don't have a clue what you mean. Just get away from Anne now. She's my friend. I see. Are you a liar too? Huh? Liars need to be punished. Yes, extreme punishment. So we'll become liars ourselves. I also realize that I haven't- I do that I haven't been reading the the dialogue correctly. Anne! Wait, no, that was... Hey, where'd you take Anne? Hmm, who knows? Y you should! Give back Anne! Where'd she go? Why don't you look for her? Oh, oh. Go look, find your friend. Oh, we have plenty of time. Fudge my fudge nuggets. Okay, she's not in here. I doubt she's in here. Not, what the, f who's dad? You search between the bookshelves? Shut up! I should probably, like, you know, talk to these guys, but I don't wanna. I'm not gonna. I saw her on this floor. You're a liar! She's nearby, search carefully. I bet you're lying. She in the dumpster? Maybe I should have like, was it this room? That had the weirdo at the bottom? Yeah. She's on the third floor. Shut up. Oh God, there's more floors. And I know you lied. She must be in the dorms. Shut up! I'm in the middle of searching for a friend. 
I'm sorry, if one of my friends got went missing, like, I'd probably... Shut up, he's in the chat. Uh, I'd probably... I would try my best to find them, but, like, honestly, I'm not good at running fast. What was that behind the desk? I'm not even gonna listen to you guys, okay? But I'm- <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to you, but I'm always gonna just talk to you. Sister's Mary's room. Liars! Liars everywhere! No... 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 Maybe that was her. I think she's dead. Shut up. I literally checked every single room and she's not in any of them. Fine. You won't find her. No worries. I literally checked every single room. She's not here. I have to find Anne. Quick. Anne? Oh, okay. So I actually have to find her again. I'm just gonna eat some food. <laughs>